Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic product review. This time it is brought to you by Moshi Monster Central. And Moshi, I'm just gonna call you, is allergic to a lot of milk products, so they can only eat certain vegan products. And so Moshi decided to send me a bunch of vegan products, like the Picnicker Veggie Snack Sausage, Sauce Snossage to go. It's sausage, I know. Then we have a peanut butter cup. And then we have this gluten-free rice milk crunch. And it is dairy, dairy, nut, and soy free. Hmm. I don't think I've had chocolate without it being made out of milk. And then we have this organic chocolate, dark chocolate with sea salt and organic coconut. That looks pretty good, I think. And last but not least, oh no, this is this is second last but not least. This is uh, Surf Sweets Sour Worms. And I guess it would be uh, gluten, soy, vegan. So a lot of these things have um, gelatin in it. And a lot of people don't like eating the gelatin because it's made from cow bones. So, so I've been told. So this is made with a whole bunch of good stuff, it looks like. And last but not least, vegan marshmallows. Once again, a lot of uh, vegans and our... Uh, vegetarians won't eat it because it's made or it has gelatin in it and he said chances are by the time I get these they'll be stale I'm kind of hoping they're not but they probably are he, I think the original email came to me uh, uh, I think he the original email was in September and I think these got to me October so they're probably stale sorry Yeah, they don't smell like regular marshmallows at this point in time. Hmm. Kind of afraid. To be very afraid. I'm only going to do one. <laughs> Is it supposed to be that? Oh, it comes apart a little bit easier than regular marshmallow. Don't be a baby. Put the in your mouth. If you were to put those out and somebody ate it, they'd say, hey, what's wrong with your marshmallows? <laughs> and, uh, but they taste like marshmallow. Um, definitely more dense than a marshmallow. They don't pull apart like a marshmallow does. And I'm, as I'm chewing it, I'm not sure if you can hear it because of my hollow head. It almost tastes like, um, I'm crunching granulars of sugar. Like really small granular. Non-bone. That's what people want. You can make s'mores with them and treats and put them in your hot chocolate. Thank you very much for sharing those with me because I can't wait for my daughter to try them because she hasn't had marshmallows in years and I think she misses them. So that that's awesome. Next up is Surf Treats. Sour worms. Once again, if uh, if these taste rocking, then uh, another thing my daughter will probably buy because I think she misses gummies. Oh wow! Smell that. I know you can't, but it smells like um, fruit punch. It smells like a candy store. All natural gummy worms. What I should do is eat one and show you one. Made with organic fruit juice, no artificial colors or flavors, uh, corn syrup free, 100% vitamin C per serving. It's like 100% vitamin C. That's what it says. Uh, free of the 10 most common allergens. So I guess a lot of people are allergic to, to gummy, regular gummy worms. Made in a nut-free facility. Wow. That's good. I like it. Gluten-free, soy-free. 
dairy free. Okay, we'll go move on to the peanut butter cup, organic. Ooh. I actually have a word, Justin's, printed on the back. Hope my camera focuses in on that for you. So it looks like a regular peanut butter cup. Don't want to waste any. That is really good. Who would have known that they can make something taste that good that doesn't have milk in it to help the whole... I'm going to eat that. I'm going to dark chocolate too. So I got really good dark chocolate flavor, peanut butter, and salt. So the salt gave it that extra different flair taste than like a Reese peanut butter cup or a Reese's peanut butter cup. Hmm, I like that. I think my daughter's gonna like that too. I'm gonna go for this next, just because I wanna end off with uh, sweet stuff. And so this is a, a veggie snack, sausage to go, 100% vegan, zero cholesterol, proteins got in it. Listen to your heart. Aww. They care. Oh, this has a little bit of a tear strip on it. All right, guys, going in for the sausage bite. <laughs> it tastes like insulation. Yuck. Let's put that down. That gets a uh, would not recommend immediately. But if I was in a zombie apocalypse, I'd eat that. If I found like a whole box of them, they'd be mine. I'd kill everybody. All right, so enjoy life. That's cool how they did the, the, the E with a fork. So this is a uh, boom choco a boom bar. No artificial anything. <laughs> I like that. No artificial anything. All right. Oh. Oh, it comes. Oh, it's just broken. So I'm going to put that back in there. Well, actually, I'll take it out so I can eat it while showing it to you. It looks like they have the uh, crisps in it. Like a crunch bar. Mmm, really crunchy. Very good flavor of chocolate. It's so crunchy. It's almost like they put extra wax in it. And just in case you didn't know, they put wax in chocolate. There's certain wax that we can eat. And it was very, it was very hard, like for a chocolate bar. So it doesn't taste like your regular milk chocolate bar at all. It definitely tastes like chocolate. It definitely has those crisps in it. I'm gonna save the rest for Megan so she can try all these things. And this is sea salt and coconut. I've been looking forward to this one. Although at this point in time, the the uh, peanut butter cups, I think, win. This is not bad, the, the cocoa boom choco boom. Okay. So here's what the bar looks like. It was all broken up. So there is 12 pieces. This is six. Good counting. Way to go, people. Here we go. Whoa. Salt flavor right off the top. Then the coconut. Sweet chocolate coconut with salt on it. It's not bad. But again, I'm, th I'm thinking that it's on the old. I'm not sure when it was best date before. This is getting that kind of um, <clears throat> white on the chocolate where it's starting to get old. Maybe. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I've never bought it before. Back off. 
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just quickly go through this again. Uh, it would be uh, the peanut butter cup would be my number one. Number two would probably be this. I, I really dig that. This would be my number three. No, I think I'd go for the these just because it's all natural fruit and all that stuff. Then it would be this. Even if it's stale, it is definitely better than this. Insulate your house with it, maybe. But don't eat it. Just kidding. Uh, let me know if you've ever had this before. Let me know if you've tried it and let me know what you think. Especially if you're vegan. If you're not vegan, you probably never even touched that. All right, guys. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Moshi Monster Central for sending me this cool package from Virginia. Thank you very much. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we will talk to you next time on another Ken Dominic product review. Ken out. Bye. Hey, YouTubers, and welcome to another Ken Dominic food. She's thingy. Productions TV bringing, bringing a vegan and has, ha, has a lot of allergies and stuff. And I'll start again. This is uh, a picnicker. A picnicker. Pick a knicker. <laughs>